Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and I am back today with yet again another yard sale haul. So I have been going to yard sales left and right this season already, and I'm finding some pretty cool stuff. And I'm gonna start off here with some things that I picked up at the People Down the Streets yard sale. So I've talked about them in the past, but they are uh, some resellers who I run into at auctions. And twice a year, they have a very large yard sale at their house. And they've got a lot of room for it, a big shed to put stuff in. So it's really kind of cool. And they get a variety of items. So it's really fun going to their sale. So even oftentimes I'll go to an auction where they are also at. And if I see that they are bidding, I will sometimes just drop out knowing that I'll just buy it later if I really, really want it. And their prices are usually very, very reasonable. So. I bought this salt and pepper shaker set from them with the, with the butter dish. Now, the reason I bought it was for the butter dish, not the salt and pepper, but they all match. We have here these little buttons, little buttons on the side there. It's clear glass, but it's in great shape. So regardless of whether it's clear glass or not, it is still really pretty. It has this very elegant look to it. So I paid $3 for this set. That is the, the butter dish and the matching salt and pepper. So I'll price these all separately in the booth. The butter dish alone in the antique booth will probably sell for about 10 to $12, whereas these here, about $4 for the set of those. So altogether, we're looking at, what is that, about $15 and I paid three. So I think that's really a great uh, flip with that. One of the very first things that I grabbed when I went to their sale was this amazing i love it look at that isn't that beautiful so it's this tiger and the really nice leaves here a very it's just so jungle looking but it's also iridescent you can see the light hitting it here this rainbow iridescent luster wear type looking thing going on and it's pink inside really just i love that and i believe this was either a dollar or two dollars I'm gonna probably say $2. I couldn't be that lucky, uh, but $2 is a spectacular price and I love this thing. So if I can find myself a way to part with it, I will put it on Etsy and the value, I'm not sure of what I wanna put on it. It's gonna be over, it's gonna be probably close to about $30 just because I'm so attached. It's very unique, it's very, very pretty. At the same people's sale, I also picked up these awesome Bakelite, Stella, these awesome Bakelite outlet covers. So I have a whole stack of these dark brown outlet covers and they have this real fun Art Deco look to them. And yeah, I keep picking up Art Deco stuff. I just can't help it. So yes, we are coming up to the 100 year anniversary of the 20s and I do watch the, uh, What's her name? Lori, Lori, Lori. What's her name? Lori. Dr. Lori. Dr. Lori. She is an antiques appraiser and her mantra, I always hear it. She talks about that there's hundred year cycles. And this, that she says this, I don't know if I can hundred percent agree or not, but we are coming up to the hundred year, hundredth year anniversary to Art Deco or like that kind of 1920s depression era. So we'll see, but it doesn't matter. Art Deco stuff is very cool. It's actually very trending right now. Um, I, I see it a lot paired with Hollywood. Well, Hollywood Regency is another example of that. The original Regency style from the 20s, 30s. So yeah, it's popular. And I wanted to pick up these outlet covers because they are so cool. And so the price point on these, I don't know offhand how much I paid for these. I think, See, we have here two stacks. We have this stack and this stack, and they're all these outlet covers. And I think I paid like a dollar for each one of these. So let's say two. And then they had two of the switch plates. I think this was like 50 cents right here for the two switch plates. And then this single one right here, which is kind of odd, but I think this one alone was 50 cents but it's unique, so I was like, might as well grab it. I think it's for like a cable. And then there are a set of these uh, covers, plate covers. 
these were 50 cents or so, maybe 50 cents or a dollar for the set of those. And then one more, again, set of these for probably like a buck that I paid. So yeah, I mean, I paid maybe four or five, about $5 for all of those outlet covers. I will see what I can do about them if I wanna put them all together and sell them off that way. It could probably be best to do it that way. And I think that they are worth, I did a quick search, I think they're worth about two or three dollars a piece for each cover, so that's nice. Keeping up with the Art Deco depression and all this, here we have some black depression glass in a flower frog form. So this is very interesting because I just purchased the same exact thing on eBay because I needed this piece. I had a vase and it was messing the top. This would set on top of the vase. The flowers would go down through the holes into the water in the vase. So yeah, uh, I, this was $2 and I, I, I feel kind of dumb for buying it online, but you never know what you're gonna find. So yeah, I've got one of these now. Now I have two of these, so. Oh yeah, here are some new old stock. Leviton. These are the actual switches, the Bakelite switches for the switch plates. They're new old stock, still in original, pack, original packaging, and they're brown. So they have the brown toggle switch, uh, probably with that hard click as you turn on. And yeah, so I've got the two, the two outlet cover, the two switch covers and the two switches. So that's very awesome. I think that'll do great. I bought this for, I think it's probably like 50 cents, 25 cents at the same people sale, adorable toothpick holder with a skunk in the barrel. That's beautiful. I did get two salt and pepper shaker sets from them. They, um, she is one to buy lots of salt and pepper shakers and I was pretty selective because they were $2 a piece. So I only got two of them. This one is super cute. And we have this elephant and I'm trying to think how it goes together. I'm not sure how, it probably kind of nestles together, something similar to that. It's marked right, right on the bottom there by the cork. And this one says, I, well, I don't know what it says. I can't read that. There's some initials there. I'll do a close ups on this so you can see it. But yeah, it's just a really cute, with the trunk up. We always know we want the trunks up for good luck. So really cute ceramic. And this one, I grabbed it because it's so unique. We have here a bandit. Is that what they're called? A bandit or um, a raccoon? <laughs> bandit, a raccoon. Oh boy, it's a raccoon with his trash can. So that's awesome. That one, these will both be going on Etsy and I will need to look up the prices on those if I can find comparables on them. Oh, uh, okay. So different yard sale now. This was at another yard sale all by itself. It was a dollar and it's just a really pretty pink Cadillac. Uh, and I don't know how to pronounce that last name, but it's really cute and it's a convertible. Love that a lot. And it was a dollar, not a bad price really. I'll put this in the booth for maybe, I don't know, seven, seven or eight dollars. I think it should sell for that. The doors do not open, the hood does open. All right, this was at another yard sale and it was only a dollar. It's a globe, it's not old, it's made by World Market or sold by World Market, originally for $20. But I think even at the $10 mark, this is a great pickup for the booth. So here we are with this uh, old world looking globe. Okay, so. I have been known in the past to pick up the, uh, well, there's Travis the Trout, the Billy, the Billy Bass. Is that his name, Billy Bass? Well, this is Rocky Rainbow Trout, and it was only a dollar. So it was originally $2, but I haggled down to a dollar because there was no batteries in it. She didn't know if it worked, and neither did I. So I took a chance for a dollar. I looked this guy up and it sells for well over $35 by itself. So it is awesome. I put batteries in it, it works amazing. And the motor is super strong. This thing is awesome. And it sings a couple songs and you know like the Elvis, the way Elvis does that uh, kind of lip that kind of uh, like that. His bottom lip does that uh, kind of thing where it like shakes as he sings. It's so funny. 
Um, I don't want to play it. I don't know if this is copyrighted or anything, and I like my, my AdSense money, so I'm not going to play it. Look it up if you're very interested. It plays two different songs, and they're very good. So there's that. I also grabbed at another yard sale two more automobiles. These are older. This is made by Buddy L. Haven't looked this one up yet, but it's a Buddy L school bus for 75 cents. And this one here is a Volkswagen. It says Volkswagen 1600. You can wind this up with this little tab here. And I guess it's supposed to go. It's overwound. Oh, it's not even catching on the gears or something. It's just for decoration at this point. So it's really cool. I paid 50 cents for this one. Love that one a lot. So I'll double check these online first before I decide to put them in the booth or not. But those were really cool. Now, I've got a few larger things that I'm gonna go ahead and go show you. All right, so I also grabbed this really cool plant stand. I paid $2 for it. This was at a yard sale. And that was the full asking price, which I did not argue with at all because it is a great price for what this is. Really interesting, unique shape. So I wanted to grab this for the booth and I think it'll do really well in there. Price point on it, I think somewhere around 20, 25 or so dollars. It's oak and there is some minor wear to the top here. I am going to go over this with a little, how I believe it's called Howard's Furniture Polish should really make that look very nice. But I love these turned um, barley twist, I think it's called, uh, things. And then over here, I have another table that I paid $2 for at the same yard sale. And again, it's amazing. It's gonna go for about 20 bucks at least in the booth. And I think that'll be really cool. So yeah, I was glad to get that at that yard sale. And then another topic here, I don't think I have shown this to you guys yet, but it's super cool and I paid a dollar for it at an auction a few weeks ago. Yeah, I'm really behind. I did, I think I put this on Instagram, but I forgot to put it in a video. So there was a lot going on and I never really had a chance to show this off, but it's an amazing table that I picked up at the auction for a dollar. And it's just beautiful. I love the blonde color. It really complements this couch and it kind of keeps it all cohesive together, picks up on the lighter tones of the flooring, just keeps it light and airy over here, just the way I like it. So it's really pretty. It's mid-century, obviously, really cool. And speaking of mid-century, here we have a Christmas Better Homes and Gardens from 1958. I picked this up at the same people's yard sale where I really enjoy going. And yeah, I just love it. So I have about three other Better Homes and Gardens downstairs that are not Christmas related, but I love flipping through them and seeing all the graphics and everything. Uh, but anyways, this is the only one they had this year. So I grabbed it. Hopefully they get more, but I love that. So anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.